So before I can put anything away, I need to put shelves where there were none. Let me get a flashlight. This is just open to builds and no shelves. And of course on a boat, anytime you try to do something, you've got to do a bunch of other things first. So whoever did this was so generous they gave extra length to this pipe so it's kinked there. And this sink drain at any rate there is a sink there and that's its drain and it's going to do nothing but fill up that pipe. It might drain slowly past that kink. And I found this with the galley sink as well. I think that's that quick repair tape that binds to everything and then turns to rubber. And the problem is once I get these clamps loose, I can take the clamps off and this hose is just bonded to that. And I just avoided it with the galley sink. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. But before I can put a shelf in here, this is in the way. All right. And there's no point building a shelf over the top of this when I have to come back and fix, fix that kink anyway. All right. I take back what I said about leaving extra pipe. So I've cut a bunch off of that pipe and now it just kinks in two different spots. So I got some PVC and I'll see if that through haul it looks like they just glassed in some PVC pipe. Okay, so this is the through hall for the bathroom sink. And it's, it's just this patch glued to the inside of the hall and a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe and the fiberglass is just wrapped around the pipe a couple times and then tabbed out to the hull and that's it that's just it that's the through hull that's all there is there and this three quarter inch PVC pipe fitting fits on there just perfect so I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this because that's not glued. I'm gonna cut this off short. I'm gonna cut this plastic hose once I've got this cut, right? And then I can glue this to there, this to there, and once that's set up, I can clamp that to that. And that will fix the bathroom sink so it actually functions instead of just looking like a sink all right that's one drain fix and tomorrow I can do the galley sink I think I've had enough for today Okay, so this template has led to this one in one piece so that these don't move around the way they did. And, and then I could trim it just a little bit to get it to fit perfect. And now that I've got my shape, I'll cut it out of something nicer. Whatever I happen to have in the garage. I think I'm kind of running out of this honeycomb. 
And even this, you see, is just stuck together with little bits and pieces. Let's see. I can show you. There's this little piece of wood here taped in place and glued to the side. And there's this one here. It's just wedged in above the hardware for the latch and underneath the shelf. And that's it. Once the glue dries, I'll have me a new shelf. And a shelf down there. And everything will be nice. Okay, I've got some tabbing already cut to go on those. And I just have to wipe everything down with acetone before mixing my resin and tabbing them in. Yeah, that was worth doing. So this is the secret to attaching anything to the fiberglass hull of a boat. Um, I remember when I got my first boat. I was like, oh, I'd like to put some shelves in, but I don't really want to run screws into the wall because the wall is the hull of my boat. And everything on the boat is done with fiberglass. So in this case, these little strips of wood were glued to the inside of the hull with thickened resin and held in place with little pieces of Gorilla Tape until the resin hardened. And at that point, the little wood blocks are just glued to the hull, and, but not very well. And I'm putting fiberglass cloth over the top and saturating mm. that with some more catalyzed resin and the idea is to increase the number of square inches of surface area that's glued to the hull. It's called tabbing to assure bond. And you just basically run glass cloth out a little ways on each side of whatever you're gluing to increase the number of square inches of surface area. And the same technique can be used to attach things pretty much anywhere on your boat. Another common problem is a ceiling that's had like water damage. <laughs> that's really common. Or sometimes you get an old boat where someone has like ripped everything out and you're faced with just the raw fiberglass as the ceiling. And a real good solution for ceilings is just to glue a thin strip of wood every couple of feet across the ceiling and then get something in the form of a panel. All right. And now tabbed in. This honeycomb core comes in quarter inch pieces like what's here over the companionway. And that can make a nice ceiling. Um, an even easier ceiling is um, 
expanded PVC panels. Home Depot has those for like trim and stuff on houses and you can get quarter inch that's maybe like two feet wide and you run your wooden strips every every two feet so that the panels will butt up against each other over the wood strip and you can put screws into those wood strips to hold the ceiling panels up and then a nice touch is to go over those seams with another real thin strip of wood that you put just a couple of screws in and and glue to the over the to cover the seam between the the two pieces of ceiling panel but the foundation for anything that you're going to want to attach to the boat will be some wood strips like this that you glue to the hull with thickened resin hold it in place with tape while the re that resin hardens then you can pull the tape off and then clean the area run some fiberglass resin on either side and over the top of your wood block and once you've got that all wetted out then lay some fiberglass cloth and have it run long a couple of inches three four inches would be good on either side of your wood I'm not doing quite that much here because I'm using scraps that were left over from work on the carver and this should be good enough for just holding the stuff on the shelf so the wood block was glued in place in a previous step and held in place with Gorilla Tape the tape was peeled off and now I'm putting this fiberglass tabbing to really hold these wood strips to the fiberglass in a, in a very solid way. And the shelves are just going to be free floating on top of these wood blocks. So the hull is free to flex a little bit without jamming anything I don't know how important that is but the the shelves are locked in place and can't fall down past those wooden blocks so there didn't seem to be any real need to glue the shelves to the block or to the hull. I guess another advantage is it's easier to take them back out if I need to at some point. So these shelves are made out of expanded oh. PVC. Oh, that's easier. And it's kind of a tight fit, but it's just free floating above those wooden blocks. Once I get it past the last block, it can slide all the way in. And this shelf was cut into three pieces so that the pieces could fit in through the door of the cabinet and each of these panels just once I get it maneuvered into position it just rests on those wooden blocks that were glass you know glued and then tabbed to the fiberglass <laughs> 